Hi guys, this is Deep Blue, and I'm finally back with my 60 ticket run. Let's hop into this 8 4. I'm really sorry that uh, I couldn't bring you any content the last two weeks, but I ran into some, some software troubles. And I didn't really have time to fix them, so it took some time, and the noob helped me out. And Seabot helped me out too, so thanks to both of them. Uh, but I'm back, and I hope I can bring you a good draft for the the first time in Gay Crash because we didn't we weren't really successful, or I wasn't really successful in this format so far. Uh, during the last two weeks, I made a couple of drafts. I I didn't I didn't do bad. I didn't do badly at all. But unfortunately, they were unfortunately they were all off camera. So yeah, now that the camera is back, I hope my luck stays. I can, I can take one down, get us some packs, or at least open a, I don't know, foil Gideon or something, so we get some tickets. Uh, yeah. Um, by the way, we had four RTR packs. The only four that I had left, and I, yesterday I ac accidentally joined a RTR, but I won it, so we still have our packs. Don't worry. <laughs> Uh, I didn't even open anything good, so there weren't really any valuable packs. Hopefully the new packs are better. So, six have joined. Uh, what I've learned about this format is that you should not hesitate to go three colors. But that doesn't mean that you should go four or even five colors. But just forcing a guild is not really working because signals aren't being respected in Gay Crash as much as they are in Return to Ravnica. No, don't leave. Don't leave, I don't know what I'm talking about or what I should be talking about. Anyway, uh, a lot of people were were salty and complaining about oh, I can't go straight straight gruel or something and yeah, you, you can't, but I don't think you should especially with um, Prophetic Prism, which is better than uh, what's it called, uh, Transguild Promenade, because it draws you a card and thins you, your deck. So yeah. But uh, I also learned that I should stay away from Boros unless I open a bomb and just force it. And even then you can get screwed. Because everybody wants to be Boros, and if you, if you happen to be the only Boros drafter on the table, you're most likely going to win because nobody can deal with Boros if they aren't prepared and if the Boros has a really really good deck. So let's see what we're going to open here. Aurelia, I would take an Aurelia. I would also take an Aurelia's Fury. Uh, what I have not opened yet is a Boros Reckoner. Everybody has had Boros Reckoners, even on stream. Uh, by the way, once again, visit our stream, twitch.tv slash dntgnoop. Many Boros Reckoners were had, but I still didn't didn't open one. And he has to be worth some tickets, so 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 please 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 magic gods. One more. Really is gay crash? Yes. <laughs> Not like yesterday. I was joining the draft. I wasn't really looking. I was just joining, and when I opened it, I was like, "Wow, why is there a Celestia Guild Mage?" Oh, we took Ozzy guild mage. Oh. <laughs> I was really surprised, and then I was like, oh no, now I have to buy packs for my ticket run again, because I can't really cheat them out of the packs. Oh, come on, man. Come on, come on, one more. Do we know any of those guys? Nope, we do not. Or at least I do not, maybe you do. Maybe you are one of those guys. If you are, hey, let's hope we meet in the finals. Okay, so uh, Clan Defines, uh, 1000 Lashes, yep, it's 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 pretty easy Clan Defiance. I mean we're passing some green, Slaughterhorn and, and Charger, but we're passing no red and no white, no white even, huh, curious. Uh, 
if one clan defines wasn't here, if it was like a signal to clans, the pick would be 1,000 lashes pretty easily. But yeah, clan defines. In case you don't know what it does, it kills stuff and it deals damage to your face or to your opponent's face rather. Hoping to wheel, obviously slaughterhorn charger. They won't. Probably wheeling the denizen. Hmm. Okay, here we have a spark trooper and a mugging. I think the pick is mugging. Uh, spark trooper is okay. Six one for six one for four. You have to sacrifice it. If they don't block it, it's a twelve twelve point life swing. But if they do block it, it's not that much. You gain life, but in Boros, uh, life gain isn't that important. And mucking is just very good. An uncommon is missing, so charm or guild mage. Not really a signal. Um, yeah, mucking. Ooh, Gorklan Rampager. So, it appears that we are in the right guild. For now, at least. As I said, signals aren't really being respected, so even though we cut Gruul really hard, <laughs> we might just get cupped in pack 2. For whatever reason, nobody knows why. Hmm. Here we have a lot of black, we have blue, Aetherize, Shamble Shark. Um, I think the pick here is Shamble Shark. We, as I said, we might be three colors, and Simic Gruel is, is really good. They're both not very fast, but if you survive the fast guilds, you are uh, in a very good position to overrun uh, overrun your opponent, even if they have a good extort deck. Boros Kirun is just 1-1 one, one double strike. I mean, it's so bad. It trades with, with any 1-2, like Bomber Corp or something. If they had made it a 1-2 double strike, Maybe it would see play, but no. Mm hmm. Killing glare. Killing glare could be a signal, but uh, black, black white or black blue are in the two colors we are not. Uh, for us, it's just Grand Sarah talk, Sir talk, Sarah talk. It's. It has trample, so it goes well with blood rush. And if we pick up some green denizens, we can give everyone in our team trample. It also cuts green. Okay, um, Gruel key rune is a thing. Rapid hybridization also a thing. Prophetic prison also a thing, but not the thing we are looking for. Hmm. <laughs> This is this is a tough pick. I mean, we're not really in blue, but if I pick this, we can comfortably be in three colors. Uh, Gruul Kirun, though, it ramps, which is something, and it is a th three. T blah, blah, blah. I forgot how to English. It is a three-two trample if you activate it, which is also relevant. So I think I'm just going to pick the Kirun here over the hybridization. It's so late. We just have to remember that we passed it, because uh, rapid hybridization on a creature that we are going to blood rush, oh, that would hurt. So here we have gate, we have market, but I think it's just denizen. It's not. It's better in Boros than it is in Gruul, but it's a dude. A dude is a dude. Not much else. Okay, uh, green side watcher. I uh, I was thinking about uh, the Gruel Guild Gate, but green side watcher is just better. He's a two drop, and if we pick up a gate later, we can use that. Uh, Wildwood Rebirth is also a card I've come to respect. It's not super good. It's okay, like twentieth pick or something, but it can make the can make can make a lot of decks. Okay, here we have a Sapphire Drake, which which we could splash for. It's better than Naturalize for the board at this point, because 
though things go around late. Still a goddess skulk, so that's telling me that black may be open. Or relatively open. Hmm. Smite. Jesus. Okay, we have Hands of Biting and Rupture, but I think I just have to hack this Smite here. I know it's bad to, like, uh, hack cards when you have playables, like Hands of Biting or Spell Rupture, but Jesus. Uh, no, I have to hack it. I'm so afraid of Smite. I've been blown out by it. In the vines for the board. As in, we're never going to play it. Aerial maneuver. Wow, white. Super open. Yeah, maybe it was wrong to to hack there. Let me know in the comments what you would have done. Um, mm, yeah, I would have picked Spell Rupture if it, the other thing wasn't there. Okay, here we have a breeding pool to help with the splash. How much is breeding pool worth? Breeding pool. Has to be worth some tickets. Um, breeding pool, 2.5. Okay. Uh, Simic Charm. Also really good. Mind Eye Drake. It's okay. Not really what we're looking for. Spell Rapture, Green Side Watcher. I think it's... Uh, that's that's a tough one, actually, because Simic Charm is, is really good. <sighs> yeah, I think I go with Simic Charm. If it was three tickets, three tickets is, is, is like the, the threshold. If it was three tickets, I would pick the pool, but... I think I go with the good, play, good solid playable. Here we get uh, Croconera or Wasteland Viper. Semic Guild Gate, hoping to wield this. Probably won't. Maybe we'll wield a Smite. Oh man, that would be so bad. Uh, we're at... S uh, Croconera with the plus one plus one counter would go very well with Grand Surtok. And Sapphire Drake, but... I, I think I'm picking the Wasteland Viper here. It really holds down the board early and it's a fine trick, Blood Rush. Um, here we have another mugging. Mind Grind. Yeah, I, I, I never opened the Mind Grind, but I want to do that and just go full mill. Probably never going to happen. Um, Nimble Swimmer. Maybe this will wheel. Maybe the prophetic prison will wheel. I don't know. Seven. Hmm. Unlikely. But we'll take it. If it does. Um. What is with all this black and white? We were passing so much black and white. Uh, here it's Gorge Walker, Burst of Strength, or the Gate. I I think Scorch Walker. We're only at eight creatures right now, and we're probably not playing this th uh, thundering, towering thunder fist. Thundering tower fist. So take this guy. Ooh, pet. This is very light. Uh, pit fight for us. Pretty easy. It's it's removal. And it works very well with Blood Rush, you know. Blood Rush a guy, pit fight after combat, kill two guys. Warmind Infantry would also be a, a card we're uh, we'd like to pick up because we're empty in our three slot right now. I can't pass a pit fight. Um, hmm? Miming Slime also again really good with Blood Rush. Naturalize more black. Not playing the Renation Worm, at least not right now. And this pack is. Hmm. Thrilled Oculus. Overwild Wood Rebirth. Yeah, I think it's Thrilled Oculus. It's a 3 5. 3 5 for 2, more or less. Hmm. I think it would be unexpected if I pick this card here. 
it's yeah maybe there is a limited deck that wants this card this is not the deck so I'll just pick the snapshot hmm spell rupture let's do color sort for a moment yeah not much blue here I uh, don't think I want a spell rupture I think I prefer a naturalize for the board You know what? I, I never boarded in Naturalize ever before, so I think let's try Spell Rupture. Hands of Binding. Wow. Lilium Phantom Blue seems to be really open. Bio Shift, that which we're not playing. Void Walk, which we're not playing. And Swamp. So, currently at 21 cards, which we couldn't ed could end up playing. Obviously not very happy with this. Uh, we need some fixing, we really do. So Gates, Gates just moved up in our priority list. Towering Thunderfist, nah. No dude. Yeah, and Verdant Havens too. Gates, Verdant Haven, Prophetic Prisms. Not realm right though. No, never realm right. Realm right. It's that uh, one one for one blue. That changes or adds a land type to all of your lands. Hmm. Pocket nines. So. Uh, we open a Disciple for us, that's the only thing. Uh, passing some Warriors of Alms Beast, Alms Beast is, is really good, it's going to be really tough to get through this one. Also Screecher, Horror, I know there is a Guild Gate but yeah, I have to pick this Disciple, it's just so good. And if I get a way to uh, put 1-1 one, one counters, like a green denizen, please, no. What I do get is a, another Shamble Shark. With only 12 creatures, this Shamble Shark over Gridlock. Gridlock is just, oh my god, that card won me so many games. It's like, it's never been bad. It's never been bad when, I, when I've drawn it. Never. Not even once. Uh huh. Simic rune. More fixing. Not the blue primordial. Mm, not this gate. Legionnaire, huh? Angelic Edict. Yeah, I don't know, but like. It's. White is being passed in both directions. So. After my big speech on, oh, I have to pick every gate, uh, probably just this Gap Clan Charger. Hmm. Again, only at 13 creatures, which is just, just, just not enough. And I, I'm looking to replace cards like this. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not super happy with this, but hey, we'll see. No, no, not not this guild gate, but yes, please, Slaughterhorn. Slaughterhorn for the win. Like this card should be a, a really high pick in both Simic and Gruel, but we've already established that in this direction, green is probably open, so I'm just picking this. Um. No, Alpha Authority, no. Just Aether Eyes here. Probably, probably not playing it. Probably not, but there really isn't anything else here. Not playing Last Thoughts, not playing Totally Lost. Hmm. 
So we have another pit fight, or we have a, another three drop. Not picking any of those cards or this one. So if you look at our creatures, especially with Evolve, they have respectable power and toughness, so I think another pit fight could be good, but with only 15 creatures, maybe. And this curve, maybe we want the Warmind Infantry. Cut back on some blue. I don't know. Yeah, I need creatures. I, I really need dudes. Wow, what is this still doing here? Uh, I don't know, but it's gone now. There was nothing for us in that pack that we were going to play. We're not playing Spell Rupture. And not the Snapchat, huh? Got in the board. So we're still, we're already looking at five cuts, preferably non-creatures. Preferably. Though Miming Slime is, is like a creature. Uh, you... Report for the board. Might board that in against hyper-aggressive Boros. So yeah, sure. Um, unlikely that we're playing the Denison. Spell Rupture, probably not Hands of Binding, because we're really not controllish enough. Thank you, Kiruden. Aetherize? No, we have big dudes. Don't need Aeth Aetherize. So, um, the last cup, this this island, which which was looking really sweet. Where are you, island? There you are. Yeah, that that's a pretty cool island. I generally don't like the artwork of of the the lands in this set. But I mean, it's really tough to to make mountains and forests and plains and whatever in a city if you have to add a lot of city to the picture. So they generally just were drawing a city and then coloring it in white or red or whatever. So this is twenty four right now. We're not running sixteen lands, so I have to make one more cup. Uh, let's see, our plan currently is just to have big dudes and push through. Um, yeah, it's, it's, not, it's not a good deck, not gonna lie. You have to make one more cut. I, I like Burst of Strength, it's, it's a fine trick. Very few people play around it and you get to blow them out for just one green. Or not blow them out, but kill a creature for just one green. Adds a plus one plus one counter, which is good with, with Sapphire Drake and Sirtok. I think we keep the Drake simply because it's a flyer and makes other creatures flying, which could be what we need to push through damage. Hmm. Yeah, it's none of those. Maybe it's a Snapchat? Maybe. I don't know. Pit fight, watcher. Ah, oh, we have no gates. Right, we had a watcher. Or maybe a frail dock. Let's, uh, let's do again a color sort. So we're almost as heavily in blue as we are in red. Hmm. Not cutting any of those, that's for sure. Not cutting any of those. Clan defines could be a win condition. Not cutting our fixing key rune, so what we might be cutting um, might be cutting this. No, at 15 creatures, I, I can't cut a creature. I just can't. Slow the horn and a green side watcher. So, hey, what? Kind of, yeah, I can't put you over there. 
maybe we're cutting this, maybe we're cutting this. Maybe this. Hmm. The thing with Leyline Phantom is we do have some evolve. Uh, mostly just the, the Shamble Sharks. Actually only the Shamble Sharks and the Snapchat. But it's still a 5-5 five, five for 5. Which and and you get to attack with it and then replay it as a blocker. So I don't know. This card can be really good, so I think this one stays in. With the amount of, of blue we have, I think we can easily play for Doculus. We're almost always going to have green to pump it. <sighs> green side Batcher is a two drop, which could be really important. Snapchat as a top end. Yeah, I haven't been impressed with the card at all. So I think we're just going to cut that. Even if it grows, it might. I mean, seven seven three. You're very rarely going to make it an eight four. Uh, and before it's an eight four, you can't really do much with it without trading. And the five drop that trades most of, most of the time isn't. Great. So I think we're playing this. Yeah, curve looks fine. Two muggings. I'm really happy with the muggings. So. Sort, sort, sort. Okay, so we have. Uh, we have six blue sources for for six cards. We only need one blue. So yeah, that seems fine. We have wow, well, only five red. Ten green. Nah, that that's too much. And like this six six red, I mean Blood Rush here is double red. Five five seven or six six nine. Yeah, nine nine green sources has to be enough. I mean, we only need one green. There are no prohibitive mana costs, and with thi with this, I think we we're reliable enough for for this. For mugging, yeah, I like this. Okay, so after yeah, talking about most is a mountain. It's it's red, but. Okay, I guess industry. Industry makes it a mountain. But after talking about uh, three colors, we ended up pretty solidly in three colors. So let's see how this plays out. Thank you very much for uh, watching the draft and the build, and I will see you guys in round one.